So guys, hello and welcome. Right now, you join me in my garage. Now, I have been filming the most around my house recently for the last few months. I don't know which particular order this video is gonna be dropped in, but basically I bought a house the other day, around December times, and I've been working on it ever since. Most of the stuff inside is done, but I've got a bit lazy. I can't bother to do anything more inside. Um, there's gonna be a video of that. I don't know before or after this video, but this video now is a unboxing and a spraying of my garage. So this whole space now is my garage. It's gonna be like a little workshop, something I can do little projects from, working on car exhaust, anything. I don't know, I've never had a garage before and I just know I wanna do welding stuff in here and the videos that I can do in here as well. It's like eight o'clock at night, I can spend so much, I could spend all night if I want to, going in depth making a video rather than rushing at my workshop. So basically, down here, if you can see the camera right there, is a Wagner airless spray machine that I'm gonna be unboxing and using to paint this beautiful garage. And, oh, let's get the unboxing started. I hope the lighting's good. I am in my garage right now and everything is diy at the moment. So the story behind this machine, it was sent to me for free by the Wagner brand, but with that being said, I've done all the research and I was going to buy this with my own money personally. Not so much this version, I was gonna get a handheld one, but I thought to myself, let me use a little bit of this so-called influencer pool. Um, let me see if I can't reach out to them and see what could what could um, be done. And they came through. Um, I'm really grateful, thank you Wagner. I'm really grateful for them sending me this. It is obviously free of charge. They did not charge me for this, but the least that I can do in return is have you guys go at least check them out. For, see them on Instagram or their YouTube. And if this is something that you like, buy one. What do we have? Here is the beast, the airless spray system. It has the siphon, so it connects onto the machine, goes in the paint, and it sucks it up. Here's the long hose, and all of the extra stuff in here. Paperwork. On a machine like this, I will suggest read through all of this sit on the toilet for half an hour with this in your hand and just read through it all and what makes this kit so good is this so the reason why i'm happy i've got this system is um i don't know if i've already said but it's going to be so much lighter than carrying around a handheld one the handheld kit has all of this at a smaller capacity on your hand so the weight it's gonna be a lot heavier and you're also gonna have the paint, however much paint you're carrying. So it's gonna to add to the, the weight of the machine and fatigue your hand sooner than something like this. The filter set. Um, I'm gonna go through all of this, read it, put it together properly and um, get back to you. So it's been a week and now I am finally ready to spray the garage. I've emptied the place out. I have hoovered as much of um, the spider webs as I can up there. I got chased away over here because there's a massive spider. So over here hasn't got too much um, spider webs taken away from it. All the stuff's here and um, yeah, it's gonna try to be squeezed back into here. I've diluted the water um, I'm sorry, I've diluted the paint down. This is a lot um, a lot more watery, so it goes through the so it goes through the sprayer easier. It goes there. And I'm just gonna work on this side here first off. See how it goes. I was thinking about what to do up here, and I am just gonna chance it and to try paint over the wood, the lights, because I can take this off after because this I need to replace. So I'm going to paint over absolutely everything and hopefully the paint sticks and looks good. 
but I just can't think how am I going to mask around the wooden beams and all of them so I'm just going to paint over it so this goes into here and then I need to prime it so now I'm ready to prime I completely forgot this came with a um, extension pole so when I'm trying to spray down the back I keep on touching it with the back of my wrist so now should be able to reach even further yeah this would be good screw this guy on take out the nozzle tip if you can see this here is what the paint comes through and put the new one in This is the progress so far. It is coming along nicely. So much faster than using a paintbrush. I don't know if I'm gonna carry on painting all the rest of this because this took kind of forever to paint with all the weird angles. So I think I might just, maybe just paint just the, the end ones and leave the rest unpainted. Because even testing it here, I don't know if I like the look of that. And you know when you start something, you're committed the whole way over. So I've used the remainder of this paint. Now I've got some more indoor paint that I was using for my house. Um, this is probably about to there and the more expensive stuff down to here. And yeah, it's nice to be able to use the rest of this stuff up, otherwise that'll be sitting there forever. This machine, I've learned a lot already using it just for the short period of time. Basically, this here controls your amount of paint that comes out. Your priming and flow. I've realized you need a smaller container because when I'm using a big container, the moment this piece here, the filter at the bottom, sucks in air, it stops working. So it was 
keep on sucking in air for in this guy here. So a smaller container for when you're running low and a big container for quantities of paint. Other than that, yeah, this is this is really handy. And if you see me when I'm climbing up on top, that's why I wanted this base unit here because I didn't want to have to have the paint in a container and the pump and everything um, and climb up through all of this stuff here. So I'm going to finish off the last of this stuff, probably do another coat after, and then I have the floor to do, but I'm not going to use this for the floor. I'm going to use some kind of acrylic paint and I don't want to damage this. But what I will do, but what I will use this for is paint in the garage, the garage door once I'm done and then out in my garden all of these fences need to be painted too. Yeah, I'll leave it like this. Now here is the long part, cleaning this out. So I'm sucking up water here. When I'm purging, the overflow's coming out into another bucket and I'm also spraying into another bucket too. So this is the process to clean it. And if I go straight to purge, The garage is done. I'm gonna leave it like this. I was running out of paint, so. And I was able to get it done in one coat, which is lovely. I'm sure I could have done two coats, but for what this is, this is my garage. I just needed paint on it. I just needed paint on the walls. And it's done, it's done its job nicely. I was gonna do all of it, but I was running out of paint. And I was using paint that I'd already had, so I didn't want to spend more on more paint. So, yeah, I just touched up a few of the bits up here just to blend it in both sides because I, I got overspray on some of this side here. So I thought, let me do this side. And then I had overspray on some of the um, stuff at the top, whatever the mesh up on top was. So I thought, oh, let me do it all. But I'm sure if I had this Wagner airless paint sprayer before I put up all these woods, all the lights, all of these frames, it would have just been a little bit easier. But yes, I am absolutely thrilled and chuffed with the job that this done. It's really, really, really nice. And could you imagine using a, a, a roller and trying to get in all of these gaps and everything? was able to just get this knocked out in like an hour and a bit. So my faults, my faults on this. Well, I have nothing bad to say about this, to be honest. Bear in mind, I did not spend my own money on it. So it's a lot easier to say good things or bad things about things you don't spend your money on. But I have nothing bad to say about this. I am just, I, I really like it. This here is definitely gonna be used more this the extension definitely needed once i put it on yeah it was really 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 easy to use it's nice and light depending on what you're doing for me i needed to climb so that's why i needed a system with a, a ground unit there's other systems where you've got all of this built into into your your handle you've got other ones where it's not so big of this and you hold it in your hand while you've got the sprayer in the other hand but this worked out perfectly for me i like this feature going from purging to spraying nice and simple the controls i had it on full power because i needed to blast a bunch of paint on the walls i'm sure if you wanted to um, if you had different types of paint or you wanted to be nice and 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 gentle while painting you could have used Use it on the lower setting. There isn't really much more to say. You've seen how easy it was to set up. You see how 
I was able to do a good job with it. Storage up on top. All around, it served me well. Now, if I had spent my money on this, and at the end, this is the result, yes, I would have been happy with it. No questions asked. But do me a favor, go visit these guys. I'm gonna put the links in the descriptions. At least check the website out, see what takes your fancy, even if you're not looking to buy one just yet. Remember this name in your head. Check them out, show them some support. Because in this video, it's a Wagner airless sprayer. And in the next video, it could be something that you specifically wanted a review on. So all of this helps my channel grow and also helps me show more things to use a lot. So yeah, check them out. Again, Wagner, thank you very much for this. Definitely will be recommending this to anyone else who needs to use it. So the part you've been waiting for, my garage reveal. So outside is where I can do my stick practice and TIG practice. And my car's here, that can be removed and my van can come here and back up. And I can work in the van, outside the van, load it up nice and easily inside of the garage here. So I have a lot of stuff that has been thrown away from my workplace and I've just upcycled it. I'm not gonna get into too much DL showing you everything because there's certain things here I don't want to show so you may see the video jump a little bit but this side I have my pillar drill that was given to me by Craig Moore they've been a, a big help of mine basically I'm their ambassador and they sponsor me so this is going to come in so handy links in the description for anything that has been given my charging station I need to wire this up into the fuse box and then down here, again, this table was given to me by Craig Moore. Such a um, amazing thing. And inside them, some hand tools, some mechanical tools, my DeWalt tools. Bunch of randomness all the way up here. I've got my stickers, business cards. I've got my tick. TIG welding things. Moving on. This. I bought this from Audi or Lidl. I can't remember. It's a plasma car for £120. Let's see how that goes. Moving over here. I've just got some random stuff. Nothing too special. But what is special is this guy here. An air compressor that I got from Craig Moore again. So I haven't wired that up yet. But... I'm going to lift it up and put it above in this space up here so that way there it won't be taking up valuable floor space. The beautiful thing about having this garage is I, I can practice at home and also videos that I make I can spend a lot more time in it because I've not got a crunch to get the pipes done. For example these I have some BMW wheels and they are cracked. And I can now bring you lot along for the ride as I repair them. Having this garage here is like a whole extra chapter in my life where I can now finally produce work from home.